All right. Uh, I can be specific here. One of the biggest reasons here is to come here to promote this gentleman here for his five stripes. Uh, but before I give him his new belt for five stripes, I want to brag about him, talk about him. Today. When the beginning in the Jiu Jitsu, I've been here for over 30 years, something years. I remember there's no Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, I remember the Jiu Jitsu start, I started with my cousins, the Hot and Grace, Hoyce and stuff. Yeah, I remember one day we watched the TV and some um, guys fighting in no gloves, bare knuckles fighting like a brawl or something. And we said, what this is allowed to do? Why you don't bring the valitude, the MMA from Brazil to America? And that can be a quicker way to introduce Jiu Jitsu because at the time, the philosophy we have is not many guys bring the fight to the ground. Everybody try most sustaining, uh, box, kick box or something like that. And never give much credit for Judo, wrestler, or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's more like, oh, this is a sport. That's not a real fight. And we want to change that. And I remember starting with the UFC idea. And I have a, a cousin from Brazil who I kind of brainwashed him to do championships in the United States. I brought my cousin Carlos Grace to the United States. We started the first event of Jiu Jitsu. And after this, we started doing Pan American World Championships. And because the UFC, the Jiu Jitsu have a big explosion. And the Americans start to love the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because the influence of UFC on the floor and stuff like that. Yeah, I remember seeing the Jiu Jitsu growing in America. I start seeing everybody in different states. I start traveling after this all, all over the world. I have just to travel to over 100 countries. It's unbelievable to see how the sport grow. Another day I went to a Jiu Jitsu championship in Vegas. 9,000 people signed up to compete. I never imagined outside Brazil the Jiu Jitsu have 9,000 competitors. You know what I mean? I see sometimes like more than 50 countries come to compete in the championship here. But I always follow people who was very passionate about the sport. And for me, one of the guys I've been watching him growing and become a very good grapper was him. He, he was amazing, was very interesting because he came with the ideas because after this when we had the Abu Dhabi competition and opened the rules because the IBJJF have rules not much alike, tax on the leg, this and that, was very limited. But the Abu Dhabi brought, no, we can do whatever you want. You want to grab the toe, you rip the guy's toe, go ahead, we don't care. <laughs> you want to bring every grapple from Sambo, Judo, Sumo, you, you want to see who is a good, the best grapple. But he had this open mind. He's like, uh, uh, even like I was talking to a friend another day, I think it was before my grabber, Roger Ryan, was Mark Lane. He was a strong personality. And a lot of the Brazilians, a lot of the Brazilians like, oh, this guy has, no, it's good to have good person. It's good for the sport. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's good to have my grab in UFC. It's good to have guys who bring this strong personality and the belief to improve and to introduce the American taste. And my friends was the first one. Yeah, he remember his fighting, being super amazing. Even remember one thing who was very amazing. I was watching UFC, Right at the beginning, people don't know, I don't know if you guys know, but he was the one who explained the techniques. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people didn't have education about what, well, well why they stop the fight? No, you got to meet in triangle. And the UFC used Markland, because you in Vegas at the time, to teach people, oh, that's the triangle choke, this and that. And all these is a good plus for the evolution you have today. A lot of people today ride his back. You know what I mean? All these new generation, God and Ryan, all these guys have to say thanks to him because he was the first American to help to promote. I remember I got a phone call and this guy asked, oh, a lot of people 
I want to buy in a big train of all this time. So, oh, that's amazing. I was a problem. And the guy said, oh, what it takes? I said, man, I go over there. When you need. I don't think twice because I value somebody who loves this sport. One of the philosophers I had, I leave my ego outside. What I value, what he do in the map. And he's a guy who has that. He's a guy who is a pioneer. You know what I mean? He's a guy who has to be embraced by the world in America for what he did for this sport. I have a lot of respect. I'm here to help extend my credibility to promote him for his five stripes in black belt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu.